Today I'm standing here at the Hollywood Walk of Fame, where a wreath has just been placed on the star of singer Lou Rawls. The young boy had been playing in this back room when the fire broke out. He ran through his home into this bedroom. We're standing here at the 10,700 block of Lawler Street in Los Angeles, where a woman by the name of Rebecca Erlinosa was last seen a few days ago. As you can see here, police just released a photo of the missing woman. Fuel efficiency seems to be a major issue at this year's event, even for makers of supercars like this $240,000 Fisker. Good evening, I'm Patrick Vineral. Thank you for watching Newswatch Los Angeles. A tragedy in Compton tops the news this evening. Boys playing with matches may have caused a deadly mobile home fire that took the life of a little boy. Now his mother is looking for answers, and fire investigators are looking for clues. Ashes and charred burned down remnants are all that remain of this Compton mobile home after a fire swept through it, killing two-year-old David Luna. His mother, not home at the time. And I know he's better up there with God and down here. If God took him because he had a purpose for him to take him because all my four nephews could have, my one-year-old nephew could go out, got out the house with nothing, with no harm. It was just something that I guess it had to happen. The fire started at around 6 o'clock last night. Four other children were inside the house when the fire began. They got out safely. While this fire is still under investigation, a neighbor of the family believes she knows what caused the destruction. This is a little, the little kid um, fired uh, the couch outside with um, matches and it started from an outside. That's why the, the, the trailer got in fire. The young boy had been playing in this back room when the fire broke out. He ran through his home into this bedroom where he was trapped, and firefighters later found his body. I didn't see the fire. I just see a lot of smoke. Neighbor Alex Cardenas tried to help, but by the time he got close to the home, the fire had spread, and the young boy had been killed. If it makes me feel really sad and bad, you know. If I would have the chance to go inside, I would have gone. It hurts. But I know where he's with God right now. He's all right up there. The boy's mother says she was at work at the time of the fire. Investigators say they don't believe the fire was started intentionally.